Wake up, America. Morning's over. Handmaid's Tale is one of Hulu's most successful series and has attracted a lot of fans from all over the world. The series was so successful that its fourth season was confirmed last year and is set to premiere on Wednesday, April 28th. Doubling its audience after every season, Handmaid's Tale has proven to be an addictive series and has succeeded in leaving its fans on the edges of their seats in every episode. With season four just a few weeks away, we know it's becoming more difficult to wait, so we've put together a few things that we think you should expect from the fourth season. Some things we're certain about and some logical explanations. Before we move on with the video, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button on your screen and become a part of this YouTube family. Great, now that you're part of the family, let's dive right into the video. A brief recap of season three. In the previous season, June had refused to take the opportunity to leave Gilead, and we see at the beginning of season three that Nick suffers no consequences for holding Commander Waterford hostage. Later on, Nick tells June that her decision is a stupid one and that she would die in Gilead, which she responds to by saying she knows that already. Possibly a hint to prepare us for the future? Later on, we see that Nicole is able to cross the border with Nicole safely. Season 3 was a very eventful one, as it saw June make some more daring decisions, including the planning and execution of helping the children cross to Canada. As regards to the love story of Nick and June, it's in this season that June records a statement informing Luke, her husband, of her affair with Nick and how Nicole was birthed out of their love. Also, we see that Nick becomes a commander in this season. Also, before the kids are able to escape, during one of June's visits to the Jezebels, she runs into High Commander Winslow and is forced to kill him. So now that we've caught up on the last season, let's take a look at a few things to expect in the next season. <laughs> First thing we think you should expect is more sexual content. Of course, there will be sex scenes. It's a movie about women who have been enslaved and turned into sex slaves to help bear children. There's a possibility that the sex scenes in season four may not be as frequent as they were in the previous seasons due to the tension that's been rising in Gilead. But we would be very surprised if there's no sex scenes in a series that has not shied away from showing scenes like that in the past. Ten episodes, we think there's enough space for one or two of such scenes. So uh, do, we, uh, do we pray first? Expect a lot of unexpected and crazy moments. You don't need us telling you that there will be a lot of shocking scenes that no one could ever have predicted in the fourth season of the series. In the past seasons, there were a lot of shockers, ranging from an unexpected bombing by one of the women to Emily's commander helping her escape, all the women refusing to stone their fellow to death, and so on. To confirm this hunch, Bruce Miller has told the fans of the series to just bury their predictions. According to him, season four would be different from the past few seasons in many ways. It would definitely be different for June since she's no longer under the thumb of Gilead, and has had a taste of freedom now. Chapter 1, verse 26, by his word. More heartbreaking moments. The makers of this movie series seem to have perfected the cruel art of giving us, their audience, false hope. And when it seems like things would become better or when we think there's going to be a big break, they dash our hopes. The movie has been full of many heartbreaking moments such as failed escapes, foiled plans, mothers torn away from their children, executed lovers, etc. If there's anything we can be sure of, it's that we will be getting some more heartbreaking scenes in the coming season. And there's nothing we can do about it. So don't be too hopeful. No one is safe in The Handmaid's Tale. May the good Lord forgive her sins and show mercy. Will June run out of luck? We hope not, but how much more luck could a person have? She's proven to be a pain in the ass for the people in authority several times in the past three seasons. How she's still alive is a thing of wonder. Although, the series has provided explanations for why she wasn't executed or sent away to shovel dirt like other women and die out of exhaustion or radiation. Things are quite different now, and she would need a lot more than luck to live through season four. She's not only a murderer now, but also a key player in the rebellion. So what do you think is June's fate? We know she's not going to die since this is not the season finale, but death is not the only terrible thing that can happen to a person, now is it? We made it easy, all they needed to do was just push a few buttons more players to join the game. Just like in the previous seasons, we are definitely going to be seeing some new faces in the fourth season of The Handmaid's Tale. We don't know what roles these new characters will be playing and we can only guess. Firstly, June is obviously going to need a new place to stay after the way things ended in season three, and with a new location comes new faces. Also, with more people in Canada trying to help the resistance however they can, there's a good chance that we would be seeing some new faces there too. Especially now that the children have safely crossed the border. There are a number of names popping up, such as McKenna Grace, Reed Burney, Zoe Ashton, and so on. An all-out fight? 
One could say that season 3 was a period in which June spent most of her time planting the seed of rebellion in the hearts of others who were victims like her. Season 4 might just be the season where the long-predicted rebellion will take place. Gilead doesn't seem to be the kind of nation that will hold back, either. There's enough motivation already for them to act. The children who were kidnapped, the Waterfords facing trial in Canada, and many other reasons. The nation would definitely be out for retaliation. There's a law. Oh, we found out we're boned. Big surprise. More crazy punishments. The series has been very diverse with its punishments. And as far as we know, there have been different punishments for different offenses. We know from the incident with Serena that the punishment for reading is losing a hand or some fingers. The punishment for endangering a child is to be stoned to death, being sent to the colonies to shovel dirt, or having your feet whipped if you try to leave Gilead. There have been a lot of punishments, and I'm not even sure if we can mention them all for now. Flogging, hanging, slut-shaming, removing eyes, drowning, getting burned, and so on. And although there are so many to name, we have a feeling there will be a few more additions to this list. Nick and June we know things have gotten quite serious and there may be no time to focus on the relationship between Nick and June, but we all want to see more of Nick and June. With June's husband in Canada and doing everything he can to help, it may seem a bit selfish of June to spend her time thinking about another man. Things may never be the way they were between the two, but we expect to see some sort of deciding moment or closure for both the lovers and the fans of the movie. So, uh, do, we, uh, do we pray first? More of Nick. In my opinion, Nick did not get enough screen time in the last season, and now that the new season has been reduced to 10 episodes, we hope that we get to see more of Nick. He's proven to be a very intelligent character and has been able to handle himself quite well over the years. Hopefully we'd see him play a major role in Season 4. The Refugee Experience If there's anything I've grown to love about The Handmaid's Tale, it's their ability to represent real-life facts in the series. The female gender subjugation is a real-life thing, the political hypocrisy is also a universal problem. The topic of immigration and the experience of refugees is also a delicate discussion, and we would expect Season 4 to do a good job of showing us the experiences of the women and the children who have fled Gilead for Canada. They may have fled Gilead, but after years of going through so much pain and suffering and absolutely no freedom, they may have some difficulty adapting to their new lives and relating with other people. Hopefully the emotional experience is well represented. This reminds us of the scene where the little kid asks if their new location was the place where she would be able to wear whatever she likes. We know, as usual, the team will do a good job. We've come to the end of this video. Please hit the like button, turn on your notifications button, and don't forget to share with us something in the comment section. Tell us a few things you'd like to see in The Handmaid's Tale Season 4. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.